Hey everyone, this is a whispering willow. Currently I am saving a role play video that I made for you guys today onto my computer. It's taking a little while. So in the meantime, I thought that I would do this tag video that I found. And the title of this video, this tag video is when did you first experience the feeling of ASMR? There's a few questions here that I'm going to do my very best at answering. And they're good questions, and that's why I wanted to do this one. It's all about ASMR. So the first question is, when did you first experience the feeling of ASMR? My earliest memory would be when I was a child and in school letting a friend of mine play with my hair. She would braid it, um, comb through it with her fingers and it always felt nice and it sort of put me in a trance like um, feeling you know, just kind of zone out. <laughs> I like that. So that would be that. <laughs> um, next question. When did you find out what it was? I found out, I think in October 2011, right when I um, opened up my O Whispering Willow account on YouTube. Next question. Do you know any friends or family who have ASMR? I actually don't. I think I'm the only one, and uh, I have mentioned it to a couple people, and they really don't understand it, and uh, kind of laugh, <laughs> so yeah, um, it's too bad. Moving along, uh, how and when did you find out about ASMR YouTube videos? Like I mentioned before, I found out in 2011, and um, I found the videos while I was doing a search for relaxing music, peaceful music, um, meditation music. Actually, I think that's the main one, the meditation music. And the first video I found was uh, something by Whisper Deeply, his virtual massage video. And I'm very happy that I found these videos on YouTube. Next question. Have you told anybody about your ASMR? Yes, I have. A couple. And uh, like I mentioned before, I don't think they really understood it. Do you listen to ASMR videos with headphones or without? Um, mainly with headphones. It's a better experience for me, um, mainly because they're soft-spoken or whispered videos, right? So you hear better with the headphones. Next question. Do you get stressed a lot? Um, not nearly as much as I did before. <laughs> um, the last two, three years have been not very stressful for me at all. Um, so there have been some good years, <laughs> thank God. Um, these videos, they do help to de-stress me, I guess, if I am stressed out after a, a hard day. Do you listen to ASMR videos quietly or loudly? I would have to say right in between. <laughs> um, as long as I can hear it, that's all that matters, I guess. Have you downloaded any ASMR videos as MP3s? And if so, what? Yes, I have. Tons and tons of them. I put them on my iPod, on my computer, in my Kindle. And there's all kinds. Um, Whisper Crystal, main one, I 
or Crystal Whispers. She's uh, the main one. I have a lot of her stuff. Um, she offers them in MP3s. What is your main trigger? Mm. I, I don't think I have a main trigger. Mm. I'm not sure. I really like watching videos where um, the video maker is uh, showing their hands and moving slowly and talking slowly. Uh, a good example is a gentle whispering hand movements in her videos. I really like that. She's uh, She takes her time with her hands. So I like that. What is a trigger that lots of other people have but you just can't get? Chewing. Um, I'm not into the chewing sounds too much. Hearing people eating food. Um, that's something... It just doesn't do it for me, I guess. What is one thing you would like to see improving in the ASMR community? <laughs> um, well, the, uh, the negative comments, um, the hate that a lot of these trolls are It can be hurtful, and uh, I think if you have something negative to say, I mean, why even bother? Like, if you don't like it, then move along, you know, um, don't leave a negative comment or hurtful comment, just move along, or if anything, then hit the dislike button. I mean, sorry to say it, but yeah, that's why it's there. But. I know that's why there's a comment section as well, too, for your comments, but if it's negative and hurtful, I don't think it's necessary on these videos, because the people are making these videos to help others, and that in itself is a very good thing. And uh, there's a couple other things, but I'm not going to get into that right now, because it's a very heated subject, and... Uh, I would rather not get into that with this video, so maybe I'll make a separate video. Alright, <laughs> um, who's your favorite whisperer? I have a ton of favorite whisperers. I'm a huge fan of Ilsa, um, the water whispers. A huge fan of crystal whispers and gentle whispering. Um, whisper deeply. I've been listening to uh, something that he's made a while ago. Um, something about winding down after a long day. And he's got the sound effects and everything, and his his voice is great and very soothing. So I've been listening to that quite a bit lately. Um. Calming Escapes. She's fairly new. I love her. Um, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> so I really can't say. Do you have a favorite accent you like to listen to? Hmm. Not really. I... I like them all. Um, it's not so much an accent that really triggers my ASMR, so... I can't say I do. I have a favorite. Next question. Do you like Bob Ross? <laughs> of course I do. I remember listening to him in my pre-teenage years, believe it or not. Because um, I didn't like to watch the news and he was the only thing on around 6 or 6.30. <laughs> so I put on Bob Ross. I thought he was great. And, uh... Um... I sometimes still watch him. Um, sometimes he's on TV, like there's a rerun, and if I catch it, I'm just gonna sit there and enjoy it completely. He's great. <laughs> I love him. Who doesn't, though? 
What is your least favorite thing about the ASMR community? The least favorite thing? Um, for me, it's when people tell me to show my face, show your 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 face. over and over I hear it and why, <laughs> why should I show my face? I don't get it. Um, and when I, I see other, other people, uh, being pressured too to show their face, show their face, show their face. I remember I asked one person to show their face because I just was dying to see his face. He had this incredible voice. And I just I kept picturing in my head what he would look like and I, I don't know. Um so I I asked him and he humored me and oh my god. He he's handsome and his voice was to die for and he was a gentleman and then later on I I thought to myself, well why why did I even do that? Why did I ask him? Because it wouldn't um it, it wouldn't matter to me what he looked like because his voice, his videos really triggered my ASMR. So I felt afterwards horrible for even asking him, like, or putting him in that position because now I understand when people are asking me, like, I. It shouldn't matter. <laughs> and, uh,. I won't mention his name, but if he's listening, I think I know, you're the only one I asked, so you know who you are, because you're the only one I asked, and I'm sorry, and uh, I hope you make videos again, because I miss you a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe that was too much information for everybody, but <laughs> I uh, felt that it was necessary to share that. Um... If you could get rid of your ASMR forever, would you? That's such a funny question to me. Hell no. <laughs> I, uh, I lost it. I lost my tingles for a little while, so I haven't been watching too many videos. Just for that reason, because I want to get them back. So I've been taking a break and stuff, so I hope I get them back. So I would never, ever get rid of Do other noises give you other triggers? For example, unpleasant noises might make you cold. Nope, not at all, not yet. I've never heard of that before. Do you get ASMR from any smells? No, I don't. Do you have any unusual triggers that wouldn't normally trigger ASMR? Like, uh, shouting. Um. No, I don't. I'm trying to think. Unusual triggers. No, I can't say that I have any like that. Nope. Um. Do you get ASMR from feeling anything? Like a soft blanket? No, I don't. Wouldn't that be neat, though? <laughs> I love that. What is a trigger you didn't know you had until you discovered it on the YouTube community? Um. Hmm. What is a trigger you didn't know you had? Watching cooking videos, I think. I always enjoyed watching cooking television shows, but it didn't trigger ASMR. Then uh, YouTube saw a bunch of cooking videos and it really triggered my a ASMR. I really enjoy that one, cooking videos. 
in YouTube. Does the ASMR effect of some videos wear off, wear off after watching them a few times? For me, I would have to say yes. For me, anyway. Definitely, and it's happened. What is the main reason you watch ASMR videos? <laughs> well, to uh, trigger my ASMR to get that feeling, and definitely it's just to relax. It's the ultimate relaxation. Um, what is your least favorite kind of ASMR video? Are there any that make you cringe or you just can't watch? Least favorite... <sighs> Not really. I guess just the chewing food one. Mm. But it doesn't, it doesn't make me cringe or anything. So I haven't experienced anything like that. Thank goodness. <laughs> Do you have any theories about why ASMR happens? <sighs> None. <laughs> um, yeah, none. I have no idea. And finally, what do you think is the future for ASMR? <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> ASMR Island. <laughs> Um, we got ASMR TV, ASMR radio, um, I think more and more people are finding out about it, more and more people are getting better night's sleep, um, they're relaxing more, they're de-stressing more, all because of these ASMR videos on YouTube, and that's a great thing. Um, it's the new drug, <laughs> really it is, and, uh... It helps lots of people, uh, and it's always going to continue to do so, always. So uh, uh, that's it. Um, that's what I think, anyway. It's happening already. And, uh, that's yeah. That's great. So that's the end of this tag video, you guys. And if you, oops, if you just watched it. You've been tagged and I would love for you to make a video answering these questions and uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it.